Hello and welcome to Boomerguard's Travels. Today we're going to be continuing our adventure in Mistmore, and we're going to be fighting our way into the castle. So we're going to be going out here, going up the mound, the ramp here inside, and we're going to go into the entry hall and work our way into the castle and see what we can find in there. Uh, before we go over there, we're going to get this guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just... Uh, Part two, uh, there may be a part three. I don't know how far we're gonna go with this, but we'll see how well we're doing, but we are, wow, we're hand manhandling these guys, jeez. 12% uh, experience with no experience potions or anything, right? Uh, all my uh, characters are gonna be able to claim soon, so I will have some uh, experience uh, potions for them. And we'll use those probably like in the 50s or uh, 60s, whatever, whatever level we're at. All right, I think everybody's with me. So we're just going to make our way down here. This is going to be the diciest part right here because we did get four uh, last time, but none of them are up. So we're going to go over here and make our way up here. And make our way around here. Oh, hello. She's blue. I'm not concerned about her. I'm concerned if, uh, oh, is she 31? Oh, fudge. All right, well, here we go. You're first. Hopefully they can land spells and there's no healers here. Oh, come on. There, let's pull back over here. No. Oh my god, they all fell down. What on earth caused that? Alright, let's go right here. That was dumb. Probably gonna save us, actually. Uh... There we go. And that is why you don't use it. <laughs> like, when it, it's the warning that pops up, right? Don't use this on uh, cliffs or narrow paths or something like that, right? So definitely, you know, there's the warning right there. That's why. I don't know why they kept moving forward, though. I guess it was uh, the way they're mounted. It's uh, giving them more of an arc. Should have dismounted them, but... I don't know if I can ever get aggro back on these things. Jeez. I don't know. That one just randomly swapped aggro to me. I don't know why. Maybe my health dropped the lowest, and so I'm the highest target. Go. And what do we got here? More junk. Leave those on corpse. Alright, probably falling down was probably a good idea, honestly. Uh, just because there was a lot more mobs over there, and if we would have moved further back, we might have had a bigger pull, but uh, luckily from last episode, these are still haven't respawned, so we're kind of good there, and then uh, we're about to get the next level here in about two mobs. But I, I don't know, I really enjoy these lower levels and uh, doing the lower level stuff a lot. So it's a nice break from uh, doing high level uh, stuff where you can't even, I can't even blink without you know, almost dying sometimes. It's uh, kind of relaxing. Alright, we don't want those. Alright, let's uh, try this again. Ooh, we got a glit for bitter. She's blocking our path here. What level is she? She is 29, so she's going to get absolutely destroyed. Oh, silly Bumregard. Uh So at some point, he's going to get a spell called Concussion, uh, which is the Wizard Evade, and hopefully... <laughs> hopefully that's sooner than later. Oh, who's he? Does someone heal on you? 
You're healing yourself, jeez. Just can't imagine you would waste your mana doing that. Alright, well that's an interesting choice. There we go. 23. Can't move during uh, the dings because it's going to make them all see how they all just like run off because it lags me. I have no idea why. And uh, other people I've talked to said so they, they've never seen it. It only happens when I'm doing six. Uh, I don't notice it with... Actually, I don't even notice it on Veiniki with the six I got there, but they're not really synchronized like this. Uh, so that might be something worth my time to fix is to desynchronize their leveling. Since I, I created them all like exact same time, they all have the exact same thing and they have only killed mobs together, so. All right, two of these vampires in this list. All right, so we're almost to the castle, right? So the castle's right, right here, so there it is. And uh, this is um, Mayong Mistmore's castle. Villain uh, from uh, uh, Terror of Luckland and uh, whatnot. I used to think he's the villain. I don't know the story. <laughs> There's a... You can zone into it right over... Where are we at? It used to be right there. Maybe it's not on this map, but right in this tower, I believe you can zone into Blood Falls, which is a 120 zone. And uh, one of my favorite. I use it for the outro on like my No Regard stuff. It's just like all. It's called Blood Falls, right? And it's just like all. It's rivers of blood. It's uh, it's probably the most necromantic theme zone I've found so far. It's just fun. Alright. Taunt, you're not doing well today. Oh, you know what? I just realized, right? Uh, to provoke, and I don't have that. Oh, Serantis, what the heck are you? You're like a skeleton. Look at this guy, just coming out of nowhere attacking me. Alright, well, now we have provoke, so I can put that on my three. And that is a another taunt we can use. Too bad. That thing was almost dead. Oh, level 40. All right. Oh, and he's got a friend. All right. So we're going to actually switch to this guy. And burn him down as soon as possible. Because he's going to be problematic. Uh, he, it's not going to do enough damage to arc the rest of the group here to matter. There we go, and I, I have him provoked, so he should attack me sooner than later. Uh, I don't think anybody else is going to be able to do any damage to him. Let me, uh, just make another mage pet here. There we go. Taunt him, provoke him, there we go. And then we're gonna want to burn out. I don't have these macroed yet. There we go. I don't know why I can't hold aggro. I'm not, I'm trying not to nuke as much with the other guys. So I'm not even hitting three, hitting two, unless I want to provoke, but I guess that's just not enough. I don't know what Viva did to this thing. <laughs> it is not happy with her. Uh, she must be nuking again. I must. Did I move that button back? I did. All right. Let's move that button back. There we go. Perfect. All the pets are in. Everything's looking good. Not bad at all. I'm excited. The uh, the new UI is going to come out here in the, the May patch. And it has UI scaling, so I might be able to scale this UI down a little bit more. 
getting a little more, more gameplay screen. Oh my gosh, this guy is... He's level 40, so he's like twice our, our level, right? So... Fight the beast. There we go. Let's see if I can do a group heal here and start getting some heals going. Since that is the best heal I got. Oh, it only does 300. It says it does 400. Could be just because the level there. There we go. Hopefully we can kill these before we get respawn up here. And at least make our way into the castle. Is this guy like, he's not a rare or anything. I don't even know what this guy drops. I don't think I've ever seen him here before, but... There we go. Let's see here, let's tash him real quick. Let's see if I can get any of these spells to land from the other guys. Um, actually, I'm... What are you doing? You're doing fire. And you're doing fire. I don't even know what you're doing. What? <laughs> Your life draw is so terrible. Alright. Let me see if I can get the Necro a better spell. Feign death. Shielding. A new pet. Great earth. Shadow Compact, Shackle of Bone, Allure of Death, Dominate Dead, Drag Corpse, nothing here that looks like I'm going to want to use it, right? I'd like a new life tap is what I'm looking for. There we go, Siphon Life, what does that one do? 150 points of damage, there we go, perfect. I just want more damage coming out of the Necro. And life taps uh, are pretty much really hard to resist. Typically they always land, unless the mob is like way crazy higher level, so. Should be good there. Screaming Terror, nice. It's our temporary mez. All right, so we got a new pet buff. I think we might, yeah, we're almost at the end of the spells here. All right, I got a new pet too, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the Necro. Uh, anime dead, let's get rid of you. Let's just give us more, uh, or what you call it, right? More damage, all right, and then we did get a new conversion Allure of death. So it can intensify death there. And we should be able to allure it also. There we go. And I should probably do everybody else's spells, but uh, I think we're good for right now. So we're going to try to make this uh, walk across here. Hopefully they don't do anything stupid. And we're gonna get inside here. Right. All right, let's see here. What is all this stuff? Oh, he dropped his remains. I don't know what those are for. I haven't even looked that quest up ever. All right, well, it looks like we got it. A few mobs on us here. Let's get this. This guy right here. If I can target him since he is yellow. Let's get the cleric healing. There we go. We might want to. Oh god. 
Jeez, there we go. All right, perfect. Let's get everybody inside. And kind of just... Let's take some stock and let's see where we're at here. All right, so we're going to turn the corner up here. And this is the entry hall. There's going to be quite a few mobs right here, I think. At least two gargoyles. Provoke one of them. All right, I think this is a good spot to just uh, chillax and break follow so I can move around freely. Not having to worry about them. There we go, and then uh, damage shield. Perfect. So he's heading for 148 now with his life tap. Uh, that's significant damage increase for him, right? He was doing like 14 damage before. Uh, much better now. There we go. 24. Everybody is leveling up. And we're having a good time. All right. And don't want any of that. Our hit points at 7,500. Jeez. Your beasts. All right. And we don't care about Miss More Granite. I don't think so. No, we don't. All right. We got a Deathly Usher up here. Let's go ahead and tag her. She's 29. Not going to be a problem. I'm stunned, so I can't do anything. But everybody else can uh, get going here. There we go. And I found a Pegasus cloak in one of my bags. Uh, so I'm definitely doing the... I have two of them, so I'm going to definitely do the Mage Epic on this character. I was... Uh, that was like the, that's like the most annoying part of the, the Mage Epic, truth be told. Like, some parts are annoying, but that is like probably the one of the more annoying things. Since it's so easy to get someone to steal your kill. And uh, luckily I was able to find a second one. Because I was going to save one for uh, my 120. Uh, 120 mage, but I decided not to because I canceled her account. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I'm going to go over to Boomer Guard real quick. We should be fine there. And I'm going to memorize all his spells because he should have a new, like, three, 400 point nuke. And he should be able to just, like, almost one shot these things. So let's just take a look at this real quick. It's going to be definitely worth the effort of keeping his spells up to date. Oh, jeez. Lesser evac on the bar. <laughs> awesome. And I only bought their spells up to uh, 24, 25, whatever that first vendor in POK is. So it's not everything, but it is a bunch of spells. Yeah, like we got our first portal there. We got some translocates. We got gates. Lots of lots of gates. Makes this makes the teleporting class way more expensive to buy spells. All right, ooh, cast force might be worth having. And what do we got here? Oh, so those are level 25, we can't do that. So what do we got here? Direct damage, cold, frost shock. Frost shock, what is that one right here? 314 damage, yes, I will uh, accept you into my life. All right, he's going to do more damage. <laughs> Just want to make sure we have that all set up. Because we're going to get to a point where we're going to have more than one mob in camp, and it's going to be a, uh, a fun time. See, like, how many is that? Jeez. Hopefully they all come back the way they need to go, not some random other place in the dungeon. 
They're all level 30. It's five mobs. We should be fine, though. Come on. Six to heal. We got rough to find knuckle dusters. Nice. And a steel ingot. Alright, group heal. Actually pulled aggro there. Come on. What is this level? 34. A little bit higher, so it's 10 levels higher. But we should be fine. Ornate Defiant Gloves. What are these at? So 46 HP. So in like... Very soon we're going to be able to start getting rid of our uh, 100 HP gear, so that'll be nice. Go. I lost aggro in that one. I got that one, but I lost aggro in this. There we go. I got aggro on them all. all. Somehow I lost that. I don't know how that's working. Go. Forty. There we go. Oh, and we leveled up. Nice. Twenty five. Lost control because of the lag. There we go. Everybody's 25 now. And some more ore. Now these are yellow. <laughs> so they can actually land spells on them. Which is nice, right? And we got, looks like a respawn or a roamer. And let's take a minute to update the mage. Because I think she gets a new pet. And, oh god, there's so many spells. I mean, it's just crazy how many spells you get at low levels. And how fast the levels go, right? Summon Leather Plate, Rain of Fire. And... Before anybody tells me, I do know that the AoE spells are better, but I just don't like them because I like to try to control the aggro and I can't control the aggro at the moment. So it's uh, once I can, maybe I'll start doing AoE stuff. We got a light blue on us. Bad mistake, buddy. My pets can kill you solo now. All right, we got a new damage shield, which is nice. Um, I might give us uh, a little bit more damage. Especially against these mobs who can't hit very well. Uh, looks like we got a lot of new pets. Uh, hopefully, uh... Let's see, there's our first Mallow. That's nice. So we're gonna put that right there. I'll deal with macroing all these things later. I just want to get them on here so I can get whatever the new pet is. Just go ahead and leave you. So I don't have to worry about that in a minute. All right, let's see what we got here. Pets, 24, 25 is earth. So we're going to go with air. I don't typically use the earth elemental unless I am actively going to do some tanking or anything like that with him. So bolt of flame is the one we want. Let's go ahead and then bolt the flame. And we got a bunch of other spells, but uh, they're not really relevant to what we're doing right now. Let's see if we can get this guy summoned. 
and we're gonna cast burnout on him. How much is bolt flame doing through 97? So it's doing quite a bit of damage actually. And burnout. And then we're gonna get damage shield going. A new one. Oh my god, fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. All right, perfect. <laughs> Eight minutes. Uh, actually, let's go down through here. Uh, see what we can find right. <laughs> death, death is what we found. All right, so con these level 30. Uh, so that's only five levels higher than us. We should be able to land plenty of spells on these things. There we go, perfect. And we want the jade, why not? So it's a vendor item. It'll go in the trade skill bag though, so it won't annoy me. I saw a guy go over there. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, we're about to lose aggro because of the AOE heal. But these things are melting now that they have gotten a little bit stronger. There we go, 26. Come on. There we go, perfect. All right, let's see what we got down uh, this hallway. A gypsy in battle. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hello. Hello. Um, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt your meeting. Uh, wasn't my intention. But, uh, alright. Well, that's a lot of mobs. This is typically why I avoid this zone. Because <laughs> there is just so many mobs around every corner. Uh, it's, it's hard to pull. Like, if I didn't have... The resources I have at the moment, this would probably be difficult. Go. A negotiator. Oh, I guess we're getting the scribe first because that's where Tab went. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want that. Do a little loot. Maneuvering here while we uh, deal with this stuff. There we go. Roll all this junk. I don't want any of it. What are we getting? Seven percent for that guy? Yeah, experience is nice here. It's very nice. There we go. All right, all those are down. Woo, rough defiant. Sell those, make us a little bit more money. All right, where are we pulling from here, right? And we cleared this room. <laughs> all right, what's over here? All right, this looks like a trap. I'm gonna go back over here. Pull from this side. And we got another four right here. Wow. Five. We got a, a posse here. <laughs> so I might go a little longer on this episode because I think we're kind of hitting the... the limits of the zone. And I don't want to... I don't know if I want to make another episode here. Because... Uh, I don't know what else there would be. I guess we could, yeah, we could probably do that because there's a lot more in this room here, right? We're gonna get down to the butler and stuff like that, so that might be worth uh, doing a crawl. Geez, another one. <laughs> a little bit more crawling through here, but we'll see how this ends up. But we'll go, we'll go a little longer on here. Maybe get get closer to thirty or see where this pull ends up. Uh, ornate defiant. Chain, there we go, 27, and no, sh no idea where the mobs are running off to. There we go, I think they, I was doing a hit heal with the cleric, so. 
he is uh, pulling a lot of aggro. I think I've got it. This one. There we go. And Bomergard is just like making making his way through all these guys without even like thinking about it, right? He's just nuke, nuke, nuke. All right, we can keep going here. <laughs> Jeez. All right, what's in this room here? What's left? All right, we had a little piano in here. All right, what do we got? Oh, jeez. Uh, this might be a little bit more than we can handle, though. I do have my... Uh, oh, God. I have my, uh, my campfire outside, so... We'll see how this goes. Oh, my God. Drop one of these, please. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's do a heal. It's not going to be pretty for you, uh, Hobbs, but... Uh... Come on. I don't know why this Dark Offerer is like Half-Life. Hemo and, <laughs> and Lologist. Jeez. Some blood uh, researchers here. 28. Come on. Give me control. This, this lag on dings is uh, annoying. For sure. There we go. That was a pull. <laughs> That was a pull. That was a level and uh, some change. There we go. I cannot heal fast enough. <laughs> what level are these gargoyles? 36. So yeah, they're... <sighs> they're getting closer in range, but... They're just a little too high. Uh, go. No. Do not attack my cleric. There we go. Alright, so let's see where we're actually pulling from. Uh, over here? Was it over here? Through this door, yeah, there's like a... Oh, this is where the Cloak Damfrey is, okay. Oh, yeah. I always forgot how to get to him. I always, there used to be like a wall hack, you could do, honestly, in this zone. Where you like levitate over the walls and you kind of just like land in there. I never realized there was a... The, the full path to go here. I haven't spent too much time here. And things perma camped on like uh, TLP servers. They sell the thing for like multiple chrono. It's so annoying. The he drops a cloak that's like best in slot for a while for most classes. All right. Let's, uh, jeez. Almost pulled that whole entire gypsy room. Uh, we'll do that here next. Let's go over here. And what do we got in here? Oh, hey, whoa, whoa, guys, 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 guys. Uh, come on. Let's, uh, let's talk about this. Jeez. I, I can kill you all. Don't worry. I'm an, a very, a very strong gnome. I can handle it. Let's go over here. All right. Boom regard, make them go boom. Like 60% of their health in one one round. Alright, rough defiant shield. I think it flawed defiant, I think is when we're gonna start be able to actually use it. Which will be uh nice because we don't have any focus effects on any of our stuff, so that is something we are missing. Alright. You know what? I should probably get healed for this next pull. 
I don't know how many gypsies there are, but it's more than one. Actually, Hobbs, do you have a new heal? <laughs> do you have superior heal? I think it's at 30, though. Yeah, yeah it's at 30. 39, he gets complete heal, which will uh, be nice. Hello, ladies. Please join me in the uh, entry. We have a uh, conversation we need to have. There we go. So that is the gypsy room uh, where you can get the crafted breastplate uh, werewolf talon. And the loot of the gypsy princess. We'll probably get it from her, actually. Uh, which is a bard item. There we go. These things are melting because they're not red. There we go. I think one of them is casting Mesmerize, so it's fun. Oh, alright. So those gargoyles are respawned for this room here. Makes sense now. Yeah, there we go. We got the loot of the Gypsy Princess. Which is a all right. Bring it all in, guys. Uh, classic level uh, uh, bard instrument. Power of the wind is a mage uh, epic item. Go ahead and send that to her. And loot settings, auto loot all. Yes. All right, I'm gonna have to do that on all of them. I don't think. Hopefully, I haven't sent them any loot yet in this series, because uh, they wouldn't have looted it. So here, auto loot all. Auto loot all. Auto loot all. And auto loot all. Hopefully, I didn't. If I did, I lost whatever that was. But at the same time, it probably didn't matter. And there we go. So we won't have to come back to Miss Mortal when we do her epic. I'm, I, I have the full epic already done in another video for another character. So I don't plan on doing a, a, a dedicated video to another mage epic. But where these guys go is going to be part of their videos. And uh, that does include some of those spots. What's in the, through this door? Nothing? All right. Come on. Follow me, quick. I want you to meet my friend Boomregard. He likes to make things go boom. Jeez. That's insane. Alright, there we go. Let's go upstairs. We've been going downstairs. Oh, we got a friend. She's not smart enough to attack. I'm not going to worry about it. Ooh. This is going to be a big pull. Who knows how they're going to path to us. So let's just go here. There we go. Let's turn around here. What what level are we right now? 30. Oh, 29. We're about to hit 30. There we go. 30. You now have the shield ability slash shield for help. Uh, so I can take the damage of other players. Uh, not that great right now since I'm half dead and I just can't heal fast enough. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, we're doing really well. Rough to find breastplate. What is the stats on that bad boy? Two mana regen. Ooh, ooh, well, Hobbs, you might be looting that. You might be getting that, Hobbs. Uh, I think. Actually, I think his robe is three mana regen, right? Yeah, so. Uh, the next next level, uh, whenever they get like four mana regen, I'm going to have to start switching their gear out. Uh, having three casters is going to be... <laughs> going to be rough. Four casters. I didn't even think about the enchanter there. All right, what do we got here? Oh, got some gargoyles. Two gargoyles in an empty room. That's kind of weird. So at this point, we can pretty much just pull to here and can pretty much take it all. Um, I want to go down here if I can get there. 
It's gonna be a, a, quite a pull though. Not sure how many uh how many mobs that's gonna be. There we go. But now that they're starting to get blue and stuff, this is gonna be way easier. Alright. Can I get one more heal before I run off? It's casting. He fizzles a lot. That's that's the big problem he's got going on. Alright, we're gonna go through here. And I believe it was this way, right? Yep, gargoyle layer. <laughs> That's what it's called on the map. And uh, all right. So every single one of these rooms is like full of mobs, right? There's a cook. Like this is going to be a big pull. I'm not going to lie. Like. I don't know if it's worth dying or not. <laughs> and if we die, it'd be funny. Uh, truth be told. Because we're. We're pushing way above our weight class here. These are level 37, so I try to burn the red ones down first. Or whatever I attack, I guess, is what's going down first. Come on. Thoughts on me. There we go. Group heal. Hold aggro. But, I mean, he's going to have the same kind of stats as me, so he should be able to take it for a few hits. Alright. I don't know why. There we go. Perfect. Dark Ritualist. Got it. Now we're going to go with the Dark Offer next. 31. Go ahead and roll that. And we don't want that. Red Gargoyle. Love will tear them apart. Dark Elves 100, so we can get a pain strike against Dark Elves now. Nice. And... There we go. And you know what? I really, I think, you know, we've, we've kind of like capped out here, right? I, I think I could stay here and keep going, but it's getting a little easy. Um, but I really don't want to go to Kedge. <laughs> like, I really don't. Uh, but I think we are going to be going there. At least for a little while. Maybe Soul B might be like a more, uh, like Lava Duck Crawlers. I don't think I've, I've done that. And I never really recommend it either. So I always say go to Guck. Might, I might do Soul B. It's off the beaten path, I guess, from typical uh, stuff. All right, we're gonna do uh, one or two more pulls. We're gonna we pulled the kitchen. I want to get to the butler and the maid and see if they're up. So that's kind of where I'm pulling to. I don't have tracking, so it's kind of hard to see what's up. Uh, there we go. So this is. That's the maid. Oh, that's the butler. All right, let's just go ahead and risk our live here. All right, none of them are up. Oh my god. Stuns are like... Give me a break, man. Like, they're not that high level, so I'm not too concerned about them. Oh, hello. <laughs> Don't even realize there's people here. There's people knocking on the house. Alright, 
let's do a group heal. We got heat blood on us. And all this is junk. Why can't it go away? Term target. Doing too many things at once here. And now we're getting green mobs. Yeah. What are we at? We are at 31. And that means we're... So I bought spells to 51. I mean to uh, 25. And that means we are missing at least uh, 6 levels of spells. If we level. Again. So... That is quite a bit of, a bit of missing spells, which will kind of make this even easier. Uh, so what I'm going to do, and I think this will be the last, this is the last poll. This one's getting a little long. Uh, but there we go. Mistmore has been conquered, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, we didn't get, didn't get lucky to get any names. Uh, but we did level up. So we are now 31, almost 32. So what we're going to do... Uh, I'm gonna go to Plane of Knowledge, and I'm gonna pick up all my spells, get all that stuff sorted out, and, uh, get all their stuff set up. Uh, then I'm gonna put them in the little pond in Plane of Knowledge, and let them swim into a wall. Uh, max out their swimming skill. We're gonna try catch. Uh, we're we'll gonna give it a shot. I don't think it's gonna be very fun. Uh, and it's gonna be a pain to navigate, especially with a very low swimming skill and six characters so we're gonna try it if it's not fun if the experience sucks we can't get to 40 uh we are going to go to soul b and continue from there in the following episode after that so that's my plan uh let's try it and see but thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day